Well, good afternoon. This is John Lucas again. I'm doing a, uh, I'm redoing my funnel prevention video. This is a depth gauge that I made. I modified it after using the other one for quite a while. I modified it to give some advantages uh, that the other one didn't have. In the old days, I used to use something like this. You put that across your bowl and you set the depth on here. The problem was when you got to the outside of the bowl, if you moved your head left or right, you ran into a parallax problem and your measurements weren't accurate. With this method, what you do is you slide this forward until it touches my uh, chuck jaws. And then I lock down this little uh, ring right here. And now I can slide this out of the way. I can get away back here get completely out of the way and I can turn my platter. Now what I've done, one of the modifications I made was I added this little stop block. This allows me to go back to the exact same position I was before and measure my bowl depth. I can slide this left or right depending on where the center of the bowl is and I can get it completely out of the way. I can pull that rod completely out of there. This is not in the way. Um, you put your platter back on or your bowl And you would slide this back up like that. Find the center, slide it in. And now the gap right here between this and this piece of wood looks to me to be a quarter of an inch. So I know exactly how much this is. I could take off a little more, take another measurement. Again, I could get this completely out of my way if I need to, to be able to turn some more. So it's, it's the best improvement I made on the system it's got a block on the bottom that aligns with my bed. It's got magnets to hold it down. It's got a magnet right here and a little plate right in there. So this allows, allows it to hold and be good and solid at any position. So anyway, I hope that works better for you. I'm going to call this my uh, uh, funnel prevention video two. Let me show you one other adapter real quick. I've got to move the camera. There we go. If you have a mini lathe, instead of building the stop block and everything, I think it'd be very easy to just put a little magnetic held piece on here that fits on the end of your bed. What I've done, I had one of those magnets that holds the lights on the top of your lathe and <clears throat> The light had gone bad, so I saved the magnet. So I simply attached this to it, and it swivels to get out of my way, or I could take it completely off. But because it lines up on the end of the bed, you're always going to have it set accurately. I still have the same little locking mechanism um, on here. So that sets my jaw, and once I put a piece in there, measure, I can look at that gap and see how far it is. So, And these were made with 3 16 rods. They're easy to find. Anyway, um, I hope that helps somebody out.